Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant, having yourself a great day as always. I hope you all had a good weekend. It's Monday, and you know what we like to do on Mondays. We like to go find Hungry Notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it might be a one-off Monday thing, but yeah. Today we're going to be doing that. We're going to be finding a hungry node. We're going to be bringing it back to our magical area, and we're going to start feeding it. I don't know if we're going to set up a feeding contraption for it today, but we're definitely going to go and get ourselves one, because I have gone and found one. It's, it's taken a long time, but I've managed to find myself a hungry node, which is very cool. The hard part comes in actually taming the hungry node. <laughs> Making it yours. That is the uh, hard part. But before we do that, we want to go ahead and make a few things that are going to come in very useful for us. The first one is going to be a wand cap. We need a specific type of uh, one of these little guys. We need a, a certain type of focus for us to be able to do that. <clears throat> and we might as well make a focus pouch while we're at it. So let's have a looky see inside here. So we're going to want to make ourselves a focus pouch and to do this we're going to need some leather we're going to need a mundane belt and some gold cool vein so let's see if we can get ourselves some leather <laughs> have i not actually got any leather in my a system <laughs> i don't think i do okay that's fine well we can make something else to help us out i know what we can make actually let's make one of these i don't think we have one of these yet let's make ourselves a catalyst so that we can make ourselves <laughs> Some of this if we need it. We do need some gold. We do need to get ourselves some living wood or living rock. So we'll grab some of you and we'll grab some of you. We might as well go throw this in the A system. I'm thinking what I might do is bring another A piece around here so that we can put all of everything in there, you know. So we can do all our crafting with one thing. We don't have to worry about just having a farmic one and then a botania one. We can have one for everything, which is probably a lot easier, isn't it? So here, let's throw together a alchemy catalyst. Thank you very much, Leo. And we're going to pop you just over here. So let's get rid of you. And you. There we go. Oof. We'll do that. And I should have inside here somewhere. Where's my Britannia bag? There you are. My dirty rod. Cool, cool. You can go back in the bag. So, and you may be wondering why my health is jiggling. That's because I'm wearing, at the minute, a amulet of healing. I, I got one of these from uh, Runic Dungeons. The reason I'm using it is because when I went to find a hungry node, there's a high chance that I'll get sucked in and eaten. <laughs> and uh, even though I've got really good uh, chest plates and armor on and whatnot, it, it doesn't help that much. <laughs> you still get very much beaten up. So you got to be a little bit careful of that. So, yeah. I thought instead of using something like a golden apple, I'd use something like that. It helps out quite a bit. So we're going to want some rotten flesh and let's go and turn this into leather. I was hoping we've got enough mana in there. We should do. Yeah, good stuff. Brilliant. Cool beans. Alright, so this will be enough to make our focus pouch and then we should be able to do that. I also made myself a globe trotter sash and I, I really like it because it's really fast but I do kind of tend to fly all over the screen a little bit so I think at some point I might have to take that off but yeah for now it's good so we need some of that we need some gold I'm trying to remember the recipe off the top of my head here we might need another bit down here and we also need a mundane belt which will pop there yeah there we go good stuff so I'll take that and that should start refilling yeah, good stuff. All right, so we've got that. We've got our focus pouch. Now, the one focus that I'd like to make, which I've learned inside here, is this guy, the wand focus of equal trade. It's going to make it really easy for us to be able to get ourselves this node that we're after. So let's find the wand focus of equal trade. We need some balance shards with some never quartz and quicksilver. So let's get ourselves some never quartz. Uh, we need some balance shards as well. I think I've got some of those in there. Yeah, I've got six. Cool, cool. And we need some Quicksilver. Sweet. And we just need to change these around. <laughs> As always, always do it the wrong way around. Cool beans. So now we can pop these inside our focus pouch. Like this. And we should be able to go ahead and change these around. If we need to do so. Yeah, there we go. So we can just switch them around when we want to do that. Sweet. So the one we're going to be today is going to be the one focus of Eagle Trade, which is going to be great. We do have a spare wand because we're going to want two wands for this. So, and I think I have one that's filled up. Yeah, I've got a, an entwined living wood wand. That's going to do the trick. So we'll grab you. Cool, cool. 
And I think that's going to be everything. Let's make sure that we've got enough stuff inside our building bag for this. So we've got obsidian, glass, oak wood slabs. Yeah, we got all the things that we need. Um, and we might as well put our nether quartz away because we're probably not going to need that for a little while. Sweet. All right. So I think that's going to be about that. I'm going to leave my goggles on for the time being because it's going to make it easier, easier for us to get back and fourth, I did make myself, because I wanted to, you know, get away of getting around areas or places a little bit easier. So I made myself one of those draconic transmulition thingamabobs. Let's have a look. Uh, dr draconic. Here we go. So I made myself an enhanced charm of dislocation. And they're, you know, they're really cool. Like, they're good at what they do. But the only problem is, I think it's this way, yeah. The only problem is, there seems to be a little bit of bug at the minute. I think it's because I'm using an older version of FTB Infinity. I'm, I'm giving it a little while until I update to the new ones. Because they've had, like I said in the last episode, they've had like a million updates over the last week. And uh, it, it kind of doesn't doesn't put trust into me. <laughs> it doesn't fill me with much trust that this update is going smoothly at the minute. So I'm going to give it a little while until I try and do it. And hopefully it's going to work then. But whenever I try and use this guy, it gets rid of my NEI. And then it, the button to remove NEI, all the items, is O. But whenever I use it, I, O doesn't do anything. So I'm just stuck like this for ages until I log in and out again. So I, uh, I'm going to give it a little while <laughs> until, I, until I try and sort that one out. Um, have we got our bow? There we go. Let's get rid of these guys first. We should probably have had a, a little sleepies before we came here. But that's fine. You know, these guys are... Mega easy to get rid of. Cool, cool. So here's our uh, here's our uh, <clears throat> our hungry node, and uh, we want to be a little bit careful about it because it is pretty evil. So we're gonna get out some obsidian because the one thing these guys can't eat is obsidian. It's gonna make our life a little bit easier. We are gonna have to get close to it, which is sometimes a little bit hard because this hungry node is gonna try and pull us in. But there is a point in which we. Don't get sucked in that much. Oh, there we go. We're good. <laughs> we want to try and get it so we don't get sucked in, which is a little bit difficult, especially with all these guys around. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, my God. What is hitting me? Is that... Did I get hit by my own thing? <laughs> I always get hit by my own uh, arrow, even though I don't have any type of magnetization on me. I think it might be from this node. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have done that. That's... uh. Yep, <clears throat> that's going to make life a little bit more awkward. But let's try and land, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna give this a go. So if I walk backwards, I can kind of get in range of it, but I need to get close enough that I can place this block, which, gonna, not gonna lie, isn't easy. <laughs> but uh, we'll do it. There's one. Come on, I need to lay on this side. Oh, there's two. And, oh, we're a little bit close. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit too close right there. We need to get, like, on this side. Oh, you can see the armor doesn't really do much for us. Two hits and it takes a heart from us. We fight the Gaia Guardian 1 and 2. And we had no problems being able to do that. Uh, did I manage to get that on there just then? I don't think I did. But I can fly away. So, flying away isn't all that hard. It's just uh, trying to lay this down. It's a bit of a bugger. But at least it's going to eat all the guys for us, which is which is one thing. The problem is, if we end up actually getting hurt by this, or we die to it, it's it's real bad. Because it will eat all our armor, it will eat everything. I haven't gone ahead and soulbound all my stuff yet. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a pain in the butt. But we want to we wanna try and get around here and do this. And it shouldn't really be that hard. Come on, we can do this. I just need to get a little bit closer. So that I can... Pop it on there. Oh, that's that's another one done. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so we've done most of the sides. We just got this side and the other side to do. So that looks like there. Can we get you on here? Actually, we can just do that. Okay. All right. I think we've, uh, I think we've done the worst of it. So let's fill the rest of it up like this. Oh, getting attacked by an evil spider. There we go. All right. So, let's fly over here. If I can... <laughs> Let me fly away. All right. So, we can do this side. If it just wants to let me up a little bit. Oh, oh there we go. There's that. And that side. That side. And we basically just want to go around it 
and fill a glass like we would a glass jar we want to do it with obsidian because what we're gonna do is we can use the equal trade to uh be able to do it i'm just kind of floating around here <laughs> trying to get into a good position to do this is not easy all right we'll do you oh there's another one and that one good stuff and then we want you come on let me fly away <laughs> and here yes and here oh we're starting to get somewhere now so there's those. What else do we need to do? We need to do all of this top area. Oh, that was good. And we need to do underneath here as well. Oh, oh, oh. I just need to get away a little bit more. There we go. Oh! <laughs> the Sojourney Sash makes it real awkward sometimes. But I think I can get one there. Yes. And we need... Oh, like one just here. We need like three more. And I think we've done it. Yep. And, oh, come on. We got this. We got this. Just one more. One more. Yes. All right. Okay. We've done it. Good stuff. Now we just need to get the ones on top. <laughs> uh, which makes it a real challenge, but I think we, I think we can do it. So we'll get our, our planks. And uh, if by now you should see what we're doing here. We're, we're making it like we would get a jar. But we're going to... Use the wand of equal trade to do this. I just need to get on top so that I can lay these down. If we go really... Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get sucked into the top. If it's going to if it's gonna work. Come on. Yes. There we go. Good stuff. But cool. All right. So, we've got it how we want it. <laughs> Now, we've just got to do it, we've got to do this real fast. So we've got to equal trade it, and we've got to then turn it into a, uh, a bald node. So we're also going to need, let's go in here, we're going to need a piece of glass. Because we need to tell the, uh, we need to tell this guy what he can transmute. So if we go on there, there we go. And uh, we're going to want to get the glass out of here as well, so... Let's grab all of the glass that we've got from in here. Cool, cool. And hopefully we're going to do this first try. I do tend to mess this up sometimes, but I think we've got it. So we want to try and get sucked into the middle. Oh, there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to equal trade this. We're going to wait for all of it to be equal traded. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to mana steal it. Hopefully this is going to work. Yes. Nice. All right. We've done it. Cool bean. So we now have ourselves a very nice node in a jar. So we can take you. Where have you gone? Oh, my God. Please tell me you haven't disappeared. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. And we've got ourselves a hungry node in a jar. It has become a little bit pale, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. But that's fine, you know. Pale nodes can still consume stuff. They just they just do it a little bit slower. So, yeah. But that's going to be just fine. When it comes to actually energizing the node, that's when it becomes a bit more of a pain in the butt. But we're probably going to use, use applied energistics to do that and make our lives a little bit easier. So, let's head back on over to the base. And, oh my god, I'm so glad that we managed to do that. That was, that was, uh, that's the hardest part. <laughs> Over and done with. And I'm really, really bad at doing that because I end up kind of just flailing all over, all over the place. Well, I think you just noticed that. But, yeah, I, uh, I, I, fail, I, fail, I fail a fair tad when it comes to collecting Hungry Nose. But at least we've done it. So, let's head on back over to the magical world. And we're going to find a nice place to do this. Now, we're going to want it far away from here so that it doesn't try and eat any of it. Because it's still going to try and consume stuff. So, we don't want that. But we do know that it can't eat obsidian. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this whole place that we're going to build for it to sit inside and be happy is going to be made of obsidian. Because that's going to be extremely important. There's also going to be a little hatch above it so that we can put stuff in there. And I'm so used to being sucked into the node that I feel like I'm still being sucked in. Like, it feels really weird. You know, like, how when you come off a boat and, you, and you've got that, you feel like you're still on a boat? I have that feeling right now. It's real strange. I wonder if we actually have enough to make a, uh, I spelled that totally wrong. Uh, no, that's not the one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, enough to make a, an angel block. Feathers, gold, and obsidian. Let's have a look. Have we got any feathers in here? 
feathers? No, we don't. Okay. Have we got any chickens? Ah ha ha! There we go. All right. Come here. Cool beans. All right. So we're gonna quickly make ourselves an angel block. This is gonna make it a little bit easier for us to make it out over that way. So uh, I always spell that wrong for some reason, like every time. So let's grab ourselves an angel block. We'll just put our obsidian in there quickly. There we go. Cool, cool. And are we going to want the rest of our obsidian? We probably are, so we'll grab you as well. Your chicken can go in there. <laughs> we don't need chicken on us right now. So we're going to build it up over this way, I think. It's going to look a little bit strange at first, but it's definitely going to work. So if we pop this here, and we'll start building around it. So first things first, we want to make the base for it. So we're going to, we're going to make it as if we're doing a jar again. So it has somewhere to live. But we're also going to make sure that the opening to it is open so that we can get inside. As well as the top, we want to make sure the top's open. And we're going to build like a bit of a tube up here. Because this is where we're going to feed the node from. So we'll do this. There we go. We want to go fairly high up because the reach on these guys is pretty big. So we'll go up to about, about here. That should probably do the trick. And now we just want to build ourselves a little platform that we can stand on. And we're still going to get pulled into the node. <laughs> There's no way around that. But uh, at least we'll be a little bit happier. So if we just build you out like this. And we'll go a little bit more. There we go. Have we got more obsidian? We have. Good stuff. Bring it out on the sides a little bit more. There we go. We'll put another one here just because I messed that one up. <laughs> and it makes it look a little bit equal then, doesn't it? <laughs> cool, cool. And I think that's going to be fine. I would like a way that if I come nearer, I don't instantly get sucked in though. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a bit of a barricade here so that I don't get sucked in as soon as I get near it. So we'll do something like that. And... Maybe bring it around the edge a little bit. There we go. So we'll do the same on this side as well. And did we have a bit of a rogue one sticking out? We did. Let's, uh, there we go. See, this is the good thing of building with obsidian. You know, if you mess it up, you can just mirror it on the other side. <laughs> it means you don't have to stand there trying to break obsidian for ages. I know we have a pickaxe that can do it real fast, but hey, that's fine. And we'll do a couple on this side as well. There we go. Sweet. I wonder if we actually have any torches on us. It's been like so long since I've used a torch. That I, I don't actually think we do. <laughs> but we have got like full night vision here. I wonder if we can actually, I wonder if it, I, don't, I think because it's the twilight here, everything is always lit up. So I don't think it's much of a problem. If I push F7, we shouldn't have. Yeah, it looks just fine to me. Sweet. All right. So we've got a place to place our node. And I think we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's put you down inside there. And we'll break you. Cool, cool. So you can see that I'm still getting pulled towards it. There's not really much I can do about that. That's just going to be a thing. But um, we can escape quite easily. Now, as far as feeding nodes go, it's pretty much the same for getting aspects. You kind of just want to use crafting tables. Or at least I found crafting tables generally tend to do the trick. And uh, they give into it. At the minute, we have one, two, three, four, five of the primal aspects in there. Actually, no, we have all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sweet. <laughs> we actually already have all of them in there, as well as uh, fames or famers. So, yes. I did go and feed it some stuff when I found it. I was kind of throwing stuff at it to see if it would work properly. But we can feed it things and, uh, like, it eats them and whatnot. It has got a lower chance of actually gaining the aspect for it, just because it's a, a pale node, which, you know, isn't great. We damaged it a little bit by using by putting it in a jar, but that's fine, so we can feed it, you can see that the numbers are going up, so as we feed it, the crafting tables, the numbers go up, and obviously more it eats, bigger the node is going to get, which is good, because more of the aspects it has in it, the better it's going to be for when we want to siphon off the, uh, the vis lasers when we do that, so that's going to be the overall plan, but it's going to take, you know, it's going to take some time to do that, we're going to need to feed it a lot for it to, uh, for it to work nicely. But that's the idea of having this little uh, tube up here. Because we can kind of come here. And I'm not. Oh jeez. Oh that was really close. 
I didn't think it'd be able to pull me in from here, but it's still getting a little bit on me. <laughs> but we can throw these down like this, and we're going to set up a kind of system to make our lives a little bit easier by having some sort of dropping machine. I'm thinking of what I might do is I might set up just a, you know, we've got a tree farm back at the base. I might just get that running again, get it mass producing crafting tables, and then use something like a... Uh, Britannia has a really good way of doing this, actually. Britannia has the open crate which we can use, which looks like this, so it has living wood and whatnot, and uh, that's probably going to be a real good way of doing it. If we actually come over here, and I like the living wood crate, I think it looks pretty cool, so if we try and make one of these quickly, let's get some living wood. Um, this is just off the top of my head at the minute, though, so it, you know, we'll come up with a better way of doing it. I'm just kind of uh, brainstorming right here, but is that not what it looked like? It looked like that, didn't it? Living wood, living wood, living wood, living wood, living wood. Living wood. Huh. That's strange. <laughs> Why isn't that working? Living wood? These are all just living wood planks, right? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Being a bit of an idiot right here. Living wood planks. <laughs> they look really similar to me at the minute. Alright, there we go. Cool, cool. So we can, you know, we can do something like this. We could, we could also make ourselves... Like a little little hopper to go in the top, maybe. If we get some of this. And like we could make get a chest. And have I not got any iron in here? Really? Oh wow I don't. Well, yeah, we could do that. We could we could have a uh we could have one of those on top. And then we could put like our open crate kind of around here somewhere. Let's just use a piece of glass. And we'll grab you. And we like we do that. Oh, 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 oh! It kind of slings you around if you're not too careful with it. But there we go. Yeah. So that's how our uh, open crate would look, and then we'd have sink on top, and we could put the items in there. We could even like just put a hopper hook next to it. Like that could be one thing that we could do. And then we just pass our items into it, which is good. Anything that's placed inside the open crate just gets dropped. So, it's basically like a dropper, but it's a better version of a dropper. But it will do the whole lot at once as we pass the items into it. So, but you know, that doesn't really make much of a difference to us. Because as long as it's eating the stuff, that's all that matters. So, let's have a look at it. How's it doing? Yeah, it's not doing too bad. You know, it's going to it's gonna take a long time. It's not a fast process. It's a bit of a pain that we did damage our node when we moved it. But... Hey, it's still gonna it's still gonna work. It's just not gonna work as efficiently as if it as if it wasn't a pale node, so but there's not really a great deal we can do about that unless we try and mend it and that's gonna end up costing me so much because whenever it comes to whenever we wanna energize this guy, we're gonna go through so many of these, it's gonna be unreal. So I don't wanna do that just yet. But it's good because it means that we need to spend some time obviously fattening it up before we wanna do that. But yeah, cool. Alright guys, well that's gonna be out for today's episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll come back in the next episode. We'll set up a, a cool little way to feed it stuff. I think it's probably gonna be a real simple one. We'll use something like the open crate, we'll use a hopper and then we'll have like an A network cube coming up here and some uh, craft and tables getting brought over from the tree farm. It's probably going to be something like that. But we could try and make it look a little bit cooler. You know, there's a few items from Britannia that got added in in the newest update. I really want to play with those. Um, but, you know, we'll find a cool way of making it look funky. <laughs> but there we go. That's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one as always. And bye-bye.